visuals you've just seen are conditions of the Klang River, which had been one of the world's top 50 most polluted rivers. Efforts have been underway to mitigate the waste problem that has been choking the river. And in fact, the amount of rubbish collected in the river showed a drop from 1,500 tons to 800 tons a month ago following the 2019 deployment of the Interceptor, a river cleanup technology that prevents plastic waste from entering the ocean. Through a joint effort by the Selangor state government via the Selangor Maritime Gateway Project and Dutch NGO The Ocean Cleanup, a total of 77,000 metric tons of waste has been scooped up by two interceptors and seven log booms along the 56-kilometer stretch of the Klang River. But founder and CEO of The Ocean Cleanup, Boyan Slat, says more needs to be done. Ultimately, what we want is we want, uh, basically, we want to see dirty rivers coming in and clean rivers coming out. You know, our mission is to rid the world's oceans of plastic and you know, we can only be successful if we stop the plastic in these rivers because the rivers, you know, they are the ones taking the plastic to the ocean. Um, so, yeah, of course, we, we've done, uh, so Interceptor 2 uh, has been our, um, yeah, our, our champion so far. It's been the, the top scorer, so it's, it's been doing, been operating very well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, of course, we do still see trash coming, going to the ocean. So that's why we decided to put a second interceptor in. And now we're also working on a, on a bigger plan to see, um, you know, together with the log booms that are already there and these two interceptors, how can we completely, you know, take off this river. The autonomous and solar-powered interceptor uses a barrier and conveyor belt system that gathers and extracts plastic from rivers. Its latest deployment, Interceptor 005, is locally built in Klang and can catch up to 100 tons of trash daily. Boyan says there are plans to deploy the interceptor in other rivers in Malaysia. Of course, for the river Klang, our job is not done yet. <laughs> There's still a lot of trash going to the ocean, so uh, we, we need to do more. We're ready to help. Uh, but at the same time, um, yeah, we also look forward to work together uh, on, on other, other rivers in, uh, in Malaysia. So uh, we're, we're now looking at some, some rivers that are more north of, um, of Selangor, like the sort of Butterworth uh, area. Um, separately, we're also looking at rivers in the Johor state now. Uh, Tabrau River, for example, is one of them. Um, so. Yeah, it's Malaysia. We love Malaysia. It's a beautiful country. We need to keep it clean. And um, that's why we're going to see a lot more interceptors here. According to Shaiful Azmin, Managing Director of Landasan Lumayan Sindirian Berhat, the master developer of Selangor Maritime Gateway, the interceptors are part of a wider initiative to rehabilitate and reinvigorate the Klang River. We are not only looking in terms of the river cleaning, we are also looking at the, how can we develop lands along the Klang River. And uh, previously, as you can see, uh, all the de development are not river-orientated development. But now we are changing the, changing the, change the orientation uh, to make uh, more developers to appreciate river as their main theme for development. And as, as you uh, mentioned also, after we uh, managed to remove the waste and the water quality improve, now we are looking uh, to make the Klang River as the source of water supply for Selangor. And it has started with Sungai Rasau treatment plant for 700 MLD, which is also under our sister company, Ice Selangor.